fought Batman once, broke my arm in three places. But the way I see it, lightning ain't gonna strike the same place twice. What is up everybody? So we are back and in the previous part we were getting into some hijinks with the Batmobile which I left over on top of the roof after we uh, powered up the satellite. Now we're going over to the shipping yard so let's see what's going on over here. I love the graphics on uh, Batman's cape there. Scarecrow's men are guarding the antenna. I need to evaluate the threat and plan my attack. Five soldiers, all armed. If I alert them, they'll kill the hostage and need to reach a vantage point to draw them outside. If I can separate them, they'll be easier to take down. Okay, so I need to select the Batarang. So, I'm gonna do some uh, stealth stuff here. I love stealth, man, with Batman. Here we go, we gotta get this other guy. Three more soldiers inside. They think they're safe if they stick together. Lucius, I've got a hostage situation. Three gunmen. I need to take them all out before they can react. Is it ready? Flexible plates over an MR fluid armor layer. You'll move faster, hit harder, and look scarier while doing so. Send it, Lucius. Now. Already airborne, Mr. Wayne. What? What the hell am I picking up? Alright, so... Well, apparently I need to go over here and pick something up. Scarecrow's men still have a hostage at the antenna. I should head back there before they do something they'll regret. Alright, so we got some new gear in from uh, Lucius Foxy Fox, so let's see what he sent us. Some kind of armored plating or something like that. Weave. It's between those layers where things get interesting. Wayne 
tech MR fluid hardens in response to impact. With this kind of shock absorption, you'll be able to put more force into your counterattacks. The liquid armor is more flexible than the fibers you're accustomed to as well. You can use that increased maneuverability to take out multiple foes in quick succession. Mm. The suit's compatible with the Batmobile's electromagnetic eject mechanism, too. You'll fly out of that thing like a bullet from a railgun. Mm. Speaking of which, the new Grapno launcher will pull you skyward just as fast. Don't worry, Mr. Wayne. That suit can take the G's. Huh. How's it feel, Mr. Wayne? I've activated the AR training program should you want to run diagnostics or just break it in. Yeah, that kind of sucks though because I really, really, really liked my, uh, my red Batman 3000 suit. I mean, this suit's okay, I guess, but that kind of sucks, man. I don't like that. What the hell is this? Simulation activated. What is going on? Simulation failed. Well, what the hell was that? That was some crazy stuff. Um, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that again. Uh, why can't I try that again? Come on. Simulation activated. Whoa! What the hell is going on? Ah, oh, shit. Simulation failed. Okay. All right. I think I know what I know what I'm doing here. I need to hold down the X button. I uh, let go of the X button. Honestly, I'm never going to use this at all, though. Oh, no, I was supposed to call the Batmobile. Man, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me right now? Who's gonna use... Who's gonna use this crap in a game, though, you know? I mean, when are you ever gonna use this, like, eject yourself from the Batmobile? I guess it's kind of cool because you get some momentum when you're ejected from the Batmobile, but this is kind of convoluted, dude. Yeah, big deal, man. Really? I mean, did I get any points for that garbage? Did I just do that for no reason? 
Alright, so I got a point out of it. That's cool. I don't know if I'm going to do all of these things. Become Master of Skies with Grapple Boost. Alright, I hate these things. I really, really, really fucking hate the AR training stuff. Like the flying and all that garbage. Alright, what's this? Alright, that's kind of interesting, so it basically has you, uh, trying to counterattack, and then if you hit the directional key as you're countering, you could throw the person in a certain direction. But, honestly, the combat moves so quickly in this game that it's just, I mean, you just kind of press buttons as fast as you can, you know, it's, you don't really have time to think about stuff. But that's pretty cool, I mean... I could see how uh, that could be useful. Okay, strike from the shadows and leave no man standing. Hunt three armed enemies whose positions are randomized each time the training program is run. So, that was pretty cool, um, but there's, there's one thing that I don't need practice doing, and that's stealth fighting. I am really good utilizing Batman in stealth uh, situations, so I already know how to crawl through the vents, hang off ledges, different takedowns he could do. I don't need help with that. The stuff that I struggle with is kind of like the, you know, the flying point to point in a certain amount of time and all that stuff. I don't, I don't really do the best with that, but it's all right. All right, what's this? Fear multi-takedown training. Master fear. Move in close without being detected and chain your takedowns to quickly subdue groups of armed enemies. There are four... What? Simulation activated. Alright, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Move in close to a group of up to three enemies without being detected to use the fear multi-takedown. Alright.
Alright. That was pretty cool, man. Um, this is completely new uh, to the Arkham series. Um, neither Arkham City or Arkham Asylum had combat like this, so this is pretty cool, man. I'm digging this. So far, I like all of the new additions to the combat, and I like most of the things with uh, the Batmobile, but not all things. Damn. This one's kind of hard. You have to get these guys when they're close together. Together. I have to wait for this guy to walk back over here. And he's going to be the first guy that I take out. And then I'm going to take out the other two dudes. This is pretty damn cool though, guys. Yeah, that is pretty damn awesome. That is probably the coolest combat uh, move that I've done so far by, you know. I mean, it makes it really simple to just go in and take out multiple dudes with guns, which was always a huge, a huge hassle in Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. I mean, guys with guns in those games would always uh, get the best of you more, more often than not if you weren't uh, paying attention. But this uh, multi-combat takedown tactic, yeah, pretty fucking awesome, man. I'm impressed. I like it. Alright, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here, and when we come back, we'll uh, press on. I think I only need to do one more of these things, right? Yeah. Alright, when we come back, I'm going to knock out uh, this grapple boost thing right here. And then we'll go in there and take out the bad guys. Thank you so much. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Much more Arkham Knight to come. Thank you guys.